John Marston is not Jack's father. Yes, we have heard this multiple, multiple times. <clears throat> and Ben always likes to, to laugh about it, too. I think it's possible that Jack is not John's son. What, what we're going to do is discuss some of the theories created by fans who have played the game and found Easter eggs and just some some pretty random but pretty cool fun stuff that I'm so happy is in the game. It just it makes it gives an opportunity for the fans to kind of write part of the story themselves. Theory number one: We are in purgatory. They believe John Marston is in purgatory dealing with his misdeeds. No, I don't believe that we're in purgatory. Ah, so, but if John Marston is in purgatory during Red Dead Redemption, then that, and then, you know what, it, that makes his death at the end of it a little, a little less sad. My understanding of purgatory is that the person who is in purgatory knows that that person is dead. And now they're in this limbo place where they're kind of like, I don't know what's next, but I know what I did wrong and I got to work through it, fix it, or... What, however that works. This one comes from the themes of redemption and regret, and also because some fans believe that the strange man is in fact God. And I think everybody loves the strange You love him or you hate him, but he is absolutely strange. The thing, the problem that I have with the strange man being God, this is just my opinion. I, the strange man is like a tricky dude, you know? And he's creepy and... uh I don't think that God would do that. I don't I don't believe that God would creep someone out. A lot of people think that uh, the strange man is deaf, don't they? And I think that's a very, very fair comparison. And that he has a little appearance in Red Dead 2, too. If you've played Red Dead Redemption 2, the house in the bayou, when you get towards the end of that story, has a very... Uh, yeah, I jumped out of my seat, frankly, when he... Well, I'll let you find that out for yourself. I just, I kind of feel like the strange man more, to me, would be like the devil than, than God. That's my opinion. Sharp, you know, looking sharp, but also like, you know, slinking around, being a creep. I think that would be more like the devil to me. That, that's just me, whatever. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Strange! The strange man is strange. Herbert Moon sold his soul. <laughs> While some fans believe the stranger to be God, others pitch him as a devil, referencing everything from the symbolism of appearing three times. I never thought of that. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, to his, of the time, allegedly, evil mustache. Yeah, he definitely has the old... Hog tying woman on the train tracks mustache, doesn't he? Herbert Moon. Herbert Moon is not a good person. I'll begin with that. Herbert and his <clears throat> make an appearance in both games. And fans have linked him with the strange man due to a photo of said stranger in his store. Is that photo in is that photo in both Red Dead Redemptions or is it just two? And the phrase, the moon will shine on in, dar in the darkness, written on the walls of the strange man's shack, leading to speculation that the store owner is somehow involved with this mystery. Look, I don't know the answer about Herbert Moon. I do know when you go to Armadillo, he's got a picture of the strange man there in, in Red Dead 2. So they're playing at something with him. But ultimately, I just think that guy is a jerk. Um... It's one of those, he's one of those guys that's just, just has caught on with some of the fan base in such a weird way and unanticipated, I'm sure. And he, and then he's in Undead too. He gets it and all oh, his Undead was hilarious. Isn't it when he get, dies, doesn't he scream out his name or something? You can't eat me! Oh, oh. <laughs> the moon will shine on in the darkness. I think that's reaching. I think that's reaching a little bit. Uh, due to a strange and very specific Easter egg in Red Dead Redemption 2, I know what it is. I got 100% completion on the thing, so I have to know what that is because that's the only way you can get the uh, 
ornamental dagger. <laughs> There's a chance players might find what looks like a vampire drinking blood from a corpse, leading to speculation of a vampire-themed successor to Undead Nightmare. <laughs> I love this one. I love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah, that vampire. He is fast. Man, the first time I met him in game, he just killed me. He ran straight up to me and gives you one slap across the face and boom, you're dead. It's insane. But I saw one fella he, he, <clears throat> online and he was curious and he did this really, really cool thing. It wasn't easy too, but I, he lassos him and hog ties him, which is hard because he comes at you so quickly. So this guy got his lasso out like really fast and was able to get it in time. He put him on his horse and he rode around for ages until the sun rose because you, uh, you, it's a time, the thing in Saint Denis, you can only meet him at night. So this guy rode around long enough for the sun to come up to see if he would burn up in ashes, but he didn't. If anybody is right about these theories, I want something like that to be right because it's, that means that I get to work more with people that I admire and enjoy spending time with. I know Rockstar Games have publicly said that, you know, they're, they're focusing on Red Dead Online uh, right now and that, you know, not to anticipate any DLCs in the near future. Uh, so I don't know, you know, and even if I did know, I would say that I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how uh, we could make that happen, but I would really like to do it. So uh, maybe if we, um, I don't know. We sign a petition, right? I don't, how do you do things like that? I don't know. <laughs> All right, here's the next fan theory. John Marston is not Jack's father. Yes, we have heard this multiple, multiple times. <clears throat> and Ben always likes to, to laugh about it too, you know, in front, in front of Rob. <laughs> Poor Rob. I think it's possible that Jack is not John's son. Some fans believe that due to the resemblance of Jack to Javier Escuela, John isn't his biological father, seemingly based solely on the adult Jack character design. Well, you know what? There is. A... <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, he's got the same kind of live build as Javier, Jack at the end of Red Dead Redemption. He's got the same kind of mustache. But you know what? You can also see a little bit of Dutch's nose on Jack Marston, too, when he grows up. <laughs> um, I want to... But I have often thought, not that Javier was the father. I thought, I'll leave it to your imagination. Who came up, who came up with this? I want to know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, you know, everybody remembers the lines a Dutch says in Red, in the first Red Dead Redemption. He said, uh, he talks about John's wife, Abigail. He said, uh, we all had her, but he married her. We all had her, but you married her. But I, I am open to the possibility. And in fact, it informed some of my choices. Uh, that Jack is, in fact, not John's son. But, again, we're not canon. I can't speak to canon. <laughs> I have always really loved the part of the story that involves John and little Jackie and uh, the struggle that they had, you know, getting to interact comfortably together. And I think that John was very proud of Jack. He was intimidated by Jack. Jack is smarter than John. Um, but you're right. He does kind of look like Javier. There's no question about it. 